Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, to make a video um, image look more uh, realistic. Any couple of effects and animation you can uh, do, you can add uh, to your image. So here I have an image, very simple image behind this uh, video. And actually I will remove this background because there's a chance my laptop will lag if I have uh, this video, because I would like, I'm planning to add this animations to this, Im uh, to this image. Now I have this uh, image here, two images. So first thing I would like to add is actually to blur this background because there's the contrast. What I'm trying to ha highlight is this image and not the background. So what I have to do is to select the image Head over to effects and here write blur and now is your decision choose which blur you like to use but usually i go for a Gaussian blur uh, you can drag and drop and drag and drop to your image or select the video of the image video and just double click saves you more time and now increase the blur and decrease the opacity and you can also go to Lumetri and then here in Vintage, you can add some like this. And the feather, feather should be, it's not in the middle, this circle. And I don't know why, midpoint, roughness. amount anyways uh anyways so we have here now even the net and uh now the next step is to add some shadow so we're gonna head over to shadow here to effect and right shadow and add a drop shadow as i said also select it and double click and now we have shadow increase the opacity and yeah, direction so in each uh, when each which part direction direction and distance so it's here uh yeah it starts so lag this again oh my god <clears throat> So I'm doing this because this will fix the problem. I hope it will fix the problem. Usually opacity I leave and just increase the softness. As you can see, I'm increasing the softness, but that's nothing going on here. <laughs> so I can also go I and O and the render effects or render in and out. But that's just going to take some time. I just actually didn't take that much time. And now here in the softness, I'll just increase the softness. And decrease the distance. And now we have, um, we have uh, the uh, shadow behind. Now what can we do is actually add this 3D effect and that's what you are here. That's why we, you are here to add, to learn to add this uh, 3D effect, which is uh, really nice. First I will add this show specular highlight. And now I can add this and the laptop is again lagging. I'm really sorry for this. Oh my God, why is so lucky? Don't get me wrong, this effect anyways takes you some, uh, it really affects the performance. I mean, if you have a really good computer than that, you won't see any, any difference, like you won't see lag, but for me, it's, it's a different scenario, it's a different situation. And uh, 
And now, and now I'm supposed to add some animation because you can add some animation to this image. Okay, so just wasted probably 20 minutes just trying to fix this lag. <clears throat> Anyways, now what you can do is actually just uh, animate this, which will look really nice. 